Hello, hello. Our inner world creates our outer world. Why I'm saying this? You will find out. A few years ago, I decided to live an extraordinary life rather than um, an ordinary life. Work home, work home. But then I realized that if I want to live an extraordinary life, I will have to do something that I love, something that I'm passionate about. But guess what? I had no idea what I would like to do. Hello, what I would like to do. So then I had to figure out, I had to ask myself questions to know myself better. But before to share with you the questions, the things that I did to find out what is my passion to change my life, I would like to ask you to be aware of what people say about you. Why I'm saying this? In the place that I was working before, people saw in me something that I never saw. People saw in me something that I was good enough, but I never thought this way. They always were saying to me that I'm such a nice person, I am very friendly, I am um, a people person, um, I'm a great friend, but I never thought that this is something that I'm good enough. Why I'm saying this? Because inside of my mind it was that to be successful, to have a business, to change your life, you have to um, be very smart or you have to have money or you have to be very lucky. And guess what? I didn't change nothing in my life until I decide to take action. And I start to question myself. And the first question it was, Anna, where are you spending the most of your time thinking? Where is your heart the most of the time? What do you care more about in life? What did you learn from life? What is the thing that you are afraid to share with people? Uh, you are afraid of judgment. Why am I saying this? Because I always like it to read about personal development. But every time when I try to have a conversation with the people around me, I saw that they are not open to these subjects like me. So then I stopped uh, talking with them about this because I was afraid of judgment. Other things that I did. I wrote down a list with the things that I was sure that I don't want to do. And like this, the list was shorter with the things that I could do. I tried to do courses. I did some courses thinking that this is it. This is it. This is what I would like to do. Guess what? It wasn't that thing. But I tried. Um, what else I did? I was looking on uh, the internet, on uh, colleges to see what courses they have. Maybe I will see there on the list something that will take my attention, something that I will be interesting. It will be interesting for me. Um, I asked myself, Anna, when you have your free time, where do you spend your time? What are you reading about? What are you searching on Google? And this was very helpful because all my uh, books, all my uh, uh, YouTube channel, everything what I was reading, it was about personal development, but I had no idea. I had no idea this is something that I would be good at. As I said, because inside of me, I was thinking that you have to be very smart to do something. Um, another thing, uh, I was asking people, what do you think you, I could be good at? But when, if you want to try these uh, things that I tried, it doesn't mean that you have to do what people say, because you know better, you know inside of you if that is going to be good for you or not. The only thing that I will say is if you will find your passion, if you have an idea what is your passion, don't be afraid of trying. Don't be scared. Don't think disempowering. Think empowering. Don't look for excuses. 
look for solutions. If you will find your passion and let's say you are working, you, of course, you will be afraid to leave your job. Of course, you might say, oh, I don't have money to do that course, but I would love to do that course. Or I don't have time because we have children. All these were just excuses I find out when I took action for my life. Because no one says you have to quit your job and do that course and change your uh, life. But what you could do is to um, two hours a day, uh, two, three, two, three times a week, uh, take two hours and read and uh, learn as much as you can about your passion until you feel confident that you can leave your job and you can start your own business. Or it doesn't have to quit your job. You don't have to quit your job. You can do part-time your passion that you would like. So I hope these advices will help someone to find their passion. And I hope these advices, it will help that uh, girl which wrote yesterday on my life that I did yesterday, uh, that she's still working to find uh, her passion. Thank you very much, guys, for joining me. And I wish you all a lovely day. It's very hard now to keep my challenge for 30 days because I have to think on subjects to share with you uh, because I want to keep my promise. I don't want to give up. It's not easy. Believe me, it's not easy. I challenge you to do 30 day video lives and share your life experiences. Maybe like this, we can help uh, other people. Thank you very much for joining. Bye.